So, here we are guys, once again, Call of Duty is being pushed further into the future this time, to 2025, into what will no doubt be the franchise's first attempt at complete imagination and ingenuity. In the previous games, the developers have worked around existing locations, and equipment, and weaponry, and even vehicles, but now, as this release trailer shows, they're delving much more into the creative, and bringing us a game loaded with robot choppers, state-of-the-art futuristic weaponry, incredibly high-tech equipment, and yes, good old Sergeant Frank Woods. Straight off into the mark there, we dive straight into the mystery as Woods gives us the lowdown on what the hell is happening with the world 13 years down the line. Immediately in the first shot, we get our first glimpse of the future. Big plane helicopter thingies with a few billion control panels. And as the scenes progress, we get an insight into what kind of hardware will exist in this game. And I'm in two minds as to whether or not it's a good thing. When I see this trailer, I think of one game, Frontline's Fuel of War. The weapons and the vehicles are a direct echo of that game, even down to the small remote control devices which will no doubt be accessible as killstreaks. So, Frank asks what happens when the enemy steals the keys. This is an obvious, direct hint to the storyline. It seems America has built a mega robot army and somebody, maybe the Russians, again, have taken control of it all. And it's up to the rather familiar looking dark haired young man we see in several shots to take back that control. We also get advanced cockpit shots of a lot of different vehicles showing how we'll be able to pilot jets it seems. Maybe Call of Duty is trying to copy Battlefield in that aspect. Some of the weaponry however does remain vintage and regular such as the M16 and the newer more modern XM25 assault rifles and the M249 LMG. And yes this is another worldwide game. In this trailer we see shots of America, Europe, generic Arabic countries and even a horseback chase through a desert. How is that for fresh horses in Call of Duty? But yes, as the final scenes come to a close we realise that holy crap this game might actually be an action laid and high octane adventure. It's certainly something new and fresh for the series and hey, it might just work out. Who knows? We'll find out on the 13th of November. Thanks for watching guys.